Good morning. Thank you for watching. Another beautiful Lord's Day. We're back on the front porch again. Uh, this morning, uh, I'd like to get uh, a few of our sick folks. Uh, uh, we'll talk, talk about a few of them. Uh, we still need prayers for Brandon Schwartz, Kay Barrett, Nikki Alonzo, and David Thomas. They all uh, uh, fighting cancer, and uh, please pray for them. Uh, also, uh, a friend of mine at work, his wife has uh, colon cancer, uh, and they're doing surgery on her this week. Uh, please pray for her and her family, and uh, uh, really good family, and so uh, I appreciate your prayers. Uh, today, we're going to be talking about the greatness of God, uh, and uh, if it wasn't for God, we wouldn't exist. God made us in his own image. Uh, among the gods there is none like you lord no deeds can compare with yours all the nations you have made will come and worship before you lord they will bring glory to your name for you are great and do marvelous deeds you alone are god psalms 86 uh, 8 through 10 scripture repeatedly tells us that god is great uh, when the Bible speaks of God's greatness, it all it's all encompassing. Uh, the passage above is a is great is translated into original Hebrew word that means large, uh, in number, uh, intensely loud, uh, older, in importance in great things. I proclaim the name of the Lord. O praise. The greatness of our God, Deuteronomy 32, verse 3. The greatness of God is manifest in Jesus Christ. is uh, and is greater than any other angelic beings, uh, demons, and the devil himself. He is the greatest. The Bible describes God as the greatest of gods. His greatness is unsearchable. God, by nature, is great. Luke wrote, and when we, and they were amazed at the greatness of God. And that's Luke 9, 43. The verse describes the reaction of Jesus removing a demonic spirit from a young boy. Uh, the evil spirit was causing seizures and a speechless condition. Evil spirits are responsible for many kinds of addictions. Here, greatness is the original Greek is defined as greatness, greatness, magnificence of the majesty of God, of the visible uh, splendor of the divine majesty as it appeared in the transfiguration of Jesus Christ. God is great, means God is above all other spiritual beings and creatures on earth and the spiritual realm. He is om, 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 omnipotent, all-knowing, reigning sovereign over all. Christ is the glory of God in the fullest of its radiance. His is the eternal and unfading glory which he had with the Father before the world began. Jesus, the living word of God, was with God in the beginning. John writes in his gospel account, uh, through him all things were made. Uh, the apostle John wrote, and now, Father, glorify me in your presence with glory and with you before the world began. John 17, verse 5. Deuteronomy tells us, uh, Deuteronomy 10, verse 17, for the Lord of your God is, uh, is God of gods and Lord of lords. The great God, mighty and awesome, who shows no partiality and accepts no, no bribes. Psalms 145, verse 3. Great is the Lord and most worthy of praise. His greatness no one can fathom. Psalms 150, verse 2. Praise him for his acts of power. Praise him for his uh, surpassing for, he, for his surpassing. Great is the Lord 
and most worthy of praise. His greatness no one can fathom. You know, God is the most greatest thing that, that we have ever will ever experience uh, in our whole lives. You know, we, we see uh, the beauty of things on, on this earth, you know, the, how everything was created, uh, but we have never seen God. Uh, can you imagine that this is uh, the earth is something that someone that God created? Uh, can you imagine that how glorious God will be when we see him? Uh, you know, God uh, provides us everything that we need. Uh, he provides the air that we breathe, the food that we eat, the clothes that we wear, uh, everything that we need. God is most wonderful. He is great. But God gave us something that is more important than all that. He gave us Jesus Christ. Uh, Jesus is our Lord and Savior. He is our escape from this world. Uh, if you have him as your Savior, uh, you, will, you will do well. You will, you will escape this world of sin and sorrow. Uh, God gave us that. He, he gave us his Son. Uh, and we didn't deserve it. Uh, so think about that uh, as you go through this week. Think about the greatness of God. And uh, we need to pray for uh, our country. Uh, we're going through some really bad stuff right now. We, we need to pray for our leaders. And we need to pray uh, that God gives them wisdom uh, and, and guidance. Uh, God is great. Uh, he can make anything happen. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, I hope everything goes well for you this week. Please keep uh, the folks that I've mentioned in your prayers. Uh, they all need our, they they need the greatness of God. Please pray for them. Thank you very much. God bless. See you next time.